Hi, I'm Ilkay Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelius. Today I'm going to show you a fantastic workflow that will help you make arrangements or reductions by importing a native Sibelius file. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via the PayPal link in the description. In Sibelius version 2019.9, a new feature called Advanced Import was introduced. This function allows you to import MIDI, XML and native Sibelius files. It gives you the ability to customize your settings before importing the file and generates a preview for you to review. This way you can select specific stages to include in your new file. Let me provide you with an example to illustrate this process. Suppose you want to import the clarinets from a previous orchestration into a completely different orchestration version. All you need to do is using the advanced import feature and root the instruments into your new template. This way you can effortlessly incorporate the clarinets from the previous orchestration into your new project. As you can see, everything works perfectly unless you have irregular time signatures or pickup bars while you are importing native Sibelius files. Unfortunately, this feature does not allow you to import if you have any of these elements present in your file. Fortunately, there's a clever workaround that allows us to overcome this problem and import any type of score as a Sibelius file. To do this, we need to download a plugin called Irregular Time Signatures, which is written by Bob Zawalich. This plugin will enable us to handle irregular time signatures and successfully import our score into Sibelius. Alright, let's start by downloading the plugin first. Afterward, I'll provide you with a real-life example of how this feature can be useful and save a significant amount of time. To download the plugin, follow these steps. Go to File, then Select Plugins and choose Download Plugin. In the search field, enter Irregular Time Signatures and click on the Install button. I have already installed it, so I simply click on the close button. After completing these steps, run the plugin by typing its name into the command search. A user interface will appear. Click on the second option and make sure that this checkbox is checked. Now, the purpose of this plugin is to write all the irregular bars and pick up bars with the time signatures so that we can import them using Sibelius native import option. However, there is no need to worry because we will remove them all later in one go. Click on the OK button and as you can see the plugin has proceeded the entire score and added the time signatures. It has also placed a command sticker here. Please do not cancel it at the moment. Save the score and navigate to your new orchestral template where you will import this score. I would like to import the piano into my template and then gradually orchestrated it there. I import it by assigning the instrument to a piano. You can also click on the auto assign. As you can see, Sibelius also imported our command sticker. Now, as the final step, we will call the irregular time signatures plugin by typing its name in the command search. When you run the plugin, you will see the restore irregular bars button. When we click on that, the plugin will remove all the time signatures in the irregular bars and pickup bars along with the command sticker. Now it's perfectly ready to be arranged and orchestrated. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via the PayPal link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.